हेलो दिस इज परसेंटेज लेसन 1.1 इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चंस ऑन फ्रैक्शंस एंड परसेंटेज वी डिस्कस इन लेसन 1 हाउ टू कन्वर्ट फ्रैक्शन टू परसेंटेज एंड वाइस वर्सा नाउ वी हैव टू अप्लाई इन द क्वेश्चंस नाउ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रैक्शन टू परसेंटेज आई हैव रिटन फाइव क्वेश्चंस यू हैव टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन विदाउट राइटिंग और विद मिनिमम राइटिंग यू शुड फर्स्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व विदाउट राइटिंग हाउ टू सिंपलीफाई दोस फ्रैक्शंस एंड कन्वर्ट इनटू परसेंटेज विदाउट राइटिंग नो नीड टू अप्लाई अ पेन आई विल apply my pen just in order to explain you the things 7 by 8 would be how much can i say this equals to 1 minus 1 by 8 1 means anything you want to convert into percentage 100 multiply by 100 this is 100% minus 1 by 8 i know this is 12.5% so 100 minus 12.5 this is 87.5% will be my final answer you have to solve this verbally if i have to solve this Fraction to percentage in exam, I will straight away my answer would be one minus one by eight, eighty-seven point five. Five by seven. Can I say this is equal to one minus two by seven? One I know this hundred percent. Two by seven. I know one by seven is fourteen point two eight percent. I did in the previous lesson. So two by seven would be twice of this, twenty-eight point five six percent. Subtract this hundred minus twenty-eight. Is seventy two minus point six. This is seventy one point four four percent will be your final answer. Thirteen by four. Can I break like this? This is twelve plus one by four. You will learn how to break just by practice. This is three plus one by four. Now how to convert any number or fraction to percentage? Just multiply by hundred. Three means three hundred percent. One by four is how much? Twenty five percent. This is equal to three twenty five percent will be your final answer. Thirteen by sixteen. Can I break like this? Is twelve plus one by sixteen. Now twelve by sixteen would be three by four. And one by sixteen. I have simplified this. Now three by four is how much percent? We know one by four is twenty-five. So three by four would be seventy-five percent. What about one by sixteen? We did in the previous class. One by sixteen is six point two five percent. So our answer is eighty-one point two five percent. All you have to do verbally in brain without writing. By practice, you can do this. Initially, it seems to be very difficult, but once you have practice, you can do all calculation. All this calculation you can do verbally without writing. If you are able to do, your calculation speed will be very fast. What is five by six? This is one minus one by six. One is hundred percent. One by six is how much? This is sixteen two by three percent. We did in the previous class. So the hundred minus sixteen is eighty four minus two by three percent. This eighty three one by three percent will be my final answer. Next sixth is five by nine. Five by nine would be how much? I know one by nine is eleven. One by nine percent. So five by nine would be five times so five times so one by nine. One by nine I know how much percent. One by nine oh this is equals to. Eleven one by nine percent. So my final answer would be fifty five, five by nine percent. Next is thirteen by eleven. This you can break first. This is eleven plus two by eleven. This is very important. How to simplify this? Can I say this equals to one plus two by eleven? Now one means you know that this is equals to hundred percent. Now two by eleven is how much? One by eleven is nine, so two by eleven will be twice of one by eleven. One by eleven is nine. One by eleven percent. So the answer would be hundred percent plus two or two into nine, eighteen two by eleven percent. So final answer would be hundred and eighteen, hundred and eighteen two by eleven percent. I am writing the mixed fraction. Hundred and eighteen two by eleven percent will be final answer. Next is. Eight by fifteen. Now you can break this like five by fifteen, five plus three by fifteen. You must know how to break this. Five by fifteen is one by three. Three by fifteen is one by five. One by three, I know that this is thirty-three. One by three, I am writing in the mixed fractions. One by five is twenty percent. So you add this, you will get twenty plus fifty. Thirty-three, fifty-three, one by three percent will be the value of eight by fifteen. What is eleven by nine? 
This can we can break this is 9 plus 2 by 9. 9 by 9 is 1 plus 2 by 9. 1 means 100 percent. 2 by 9 is how much percent? 1 by 9 is 11 1 by 9. This is 22 2 by 9 percent. So final answer will be 122 2 by 9 percent will be your final answer. 5 by 12 would be how much? Can I say this is 6 minus 1 by 12. 6 by 12 is half minus 1 by 12. Half I know that this is equal to 50 percent. 1 by 2. 1 by 12 is 8 1 by 3 percent. I discussed in the previous lesson. So what would be final answer? First we have to subtract 50 minus 8. This is equal to 50 percent minus 8 percent minus 1 by 3 percent. Because 8 1 by 3 means 8 plus 1 by 3. If you Because outside there is minus so both will be negative. This is 42 minus 1 by 3 percent. You will left with 41 2 by 3 percent will be your final answer. Next 11 to 15 please try to solve this question verbally or with minimum writing. 9 by 14 how to break this can I say this is 7 plus 2 by 14. 7 by 14 is half plus 2 by 14 is 1 by 7. Half means 50 percent 1 by 7 we did the previous lesson this is 14 2 by 7 percent. So answer would be 64 2 by 7 percent will be your final answer. 7 by 16 can I say this is 8 minus 1 by 16. 8 by 16 is half minus 1 by 16. What is half? Half means 50 percent. What is 1 by 16? This is 6.25 percent. So 50 minus 6.25 you are left with 43.75 percent. 13 by 8 you can break like this is 12 plus 1 by 8. 12 by 8 is 3 by 2 plus 1 by 8. Now 3 by 2 is how much percent? We know that 1 by 2 is 50. So 3 by 2 will be 150 percent. Plus 1 by 8 this is 12.5 percent. So my final answer would be 162.5 percent. 19 by 15. This you can break 15 plus 3 plus 1 by 15. 15 by 15 is 1. 3 by 15 is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 15. 1 is 100 percent. 1 by 5 is 20 percent. 1 by 15 is 6 2 by 3 percent we discussed in the previous lesson. So final answer would be 126 2 by 3 percent will be your final answer. 11 by 3 is how much? This you can break this is 12 minus 1 by 3. 12 means 4 minus 1 by 3. 4 means 400 percent anything you want to convert into percentage multiply 100. This is 33 1 by 3 percent 1 by 3 equals to. So finally you left with 366 2 by 3 percent will be your final answer. So in this way you can have a decent practice on how to convert fractions to percentage. And if this calculation is fast, your data interpretation as well as quant speed will be very high. In the next lesson, I will discuss the reverse of this that is percentage to fraction. Learn these fractions, understand them to convert, how to convert them into percentage and that will be very beneficial for you. Thank you.